What's going on YouTube? It's your boy That Singer Reactions coming to y'all. Special Patreon request from Dr. Cap. Shout out to you, one of my favorite people ever. Um, I love you. I'm about to do your reaction. This is a good one, probably. Um, being Black in America by Trevor Noah. Looks like a young Trevor Noah because he ain't got the afro. Um, Trevor Noah, he's always been like naturally funny to me. To me, one of the best hosts, I think. You know what I'm saying? Like, he properly introduces people. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, so, um, yeah, we're going to jump into this. Don't forget my Patreon is uh, in the description where you get exclusive access, early content, special requests. PayPal Cash App is open for new requests. I have a second YouTube channel called Hear Me Out. Make sure y'all check that out. I have a um, podcast with my boys. It's called What's the Word Podcast. Um, so make sure y'all go check that out. Um, I have a Twitch do reactions on the spot. And I also have a Discord. So check that out too. All right, here we go. Let's go. Blank, being black in America. You better talk about it. What are we talking about? Because I'm black. Yes, yeah, so I met some in American America. in South Africa. And uh, he said to me, he said, well, you know, Trevor. Oh, damn. I'll oh. never forget. I met an American in South Africa, and uh, he said to me, he "said Well, you know, Trevor, it's funny you say that because because if you come out to America, they'll they'll label you as black." I said, "Really?" And he was like, "Hell yeah!" <laughs> oh yeah, everybody's black out there. Oh. Uh, I was like, "Wow. Well, I want to be black," and I found out it's true. Mixed race people are categorized as black in America. Yeah, the only catch is, and nobody tells you this, you have to be liked and successful first. <laughs> Before then, they uh. say you're mixed. You achieve success, and you get upgraded to black. <laughs> All the famous mixed people do it. Singers. I never, you know what I'm saying, I don't know what it's like to be a mixed person. I am completely African-American, so... Um, I don't know... Uh, what it's like being in his shoes. I, what, he got a white mother? And a black father, or he's, um, I don't know his, his background, but, um, yeah, the, like, even the N-word, like, a lot of people float, float around that, you feel me, like, light-skinned people, you know what I'm saying, like, they kind of got to get the pass. Like Alicia Keys and Mariah Carey, yeah, mixed, but then they say black singers. Uh, sportsmen like Tiger Woods, mixed, but then they say black golfer. The most famous mixed person on the planet by far, Barack Obama, mixed, half and half, straight down the middle. But then they say America's first black president, which is interesting because when he was running, they called him the mixed candidates. <laughs> I see how it works. Everyone makes it obvious now. They're like, yeah, yeah, Barack, of course he won, of course. It, it wasn't that obvious when he started, it wasn't. I remember comedians coming out, they used to diss him. Guys would come out on stage and be like, man, how many of y'all seen that crazy ass mixed fool run of a president? Y'all seen that mixed fool run of a president? What you gonna see? Ain't no mixed fool gonna be president of the United States of America. Ain't no man, man, which white people gonna be voting for a mixed fool? Even a black man can't win shit. Even a black man can't, how some mixed fool think he gonna do it out? Man, that mixed fool, that crazy ass mixed fool. How some mixed fool, that mixed fool. And then he won and all of a sudden they were like, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, I never heard Trevor Noah say that word before. Man, that mixed fool, that crazy ass mixed fool. How some mixed fool, that mixed fool. And then he won, and all of a sudden they were like, my nigga. nigga. <laughs> so. Trevor get the pass. So I Trevor see how it works, you know? I understand. In order for me to become black, I have to work hard at it. And I'm willing to do the time. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I took the first opportunity. They I laughed at that for a reason. And I'm willing to do the time. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I took the first opportunity. I it could. is crazy because that whole audience is like, wait. I from South Africa and I said, I'm going out to America. I'm going there and I'm going to be black. And I got on that plane, it was an 18 hour flight, 18 hours of non-stop flying. And I sat there in my chair and I spent every moment practicing being black, just practicing. <laughs> I was like, I'm not gonna mess up this black opportunity. I just sat there, black just working everything. I was watching every black movie and TV show, just going through it, yeah, Boys yeah, yeah. 
yeah. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. King Kong ain't got shit on me. Yeah. What you talking about, Willis? It's, it's crazy because he got a crazy, like, uh, impression. Him being black, he has a crazy impression of, like, the stereotype of how black people sound. Like, I was just, I was grinding it. You laugh, but 18 hours of flying and I landed in JFK and I was fluent in my black American. For shizzle my nizzle. I was just, I was walking around. I was so black, I was even laughing. But I was like, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My man. Ha, <laughs> ha. Should have seen me. I was like, oh, this you? This you? That has to be the personification of cool, in my opinion. There's nothing cooler. This is a, black Americans are so cool, they can make you feel good about yourself just by asking if you are you. <laughs> you don't believe me, get a black American man to come up to you and just be like, hey yo, hey yo, this you? <laughs> nah, nah, this you? This you? This you? And you'll be like, I think it is. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that was a it's young magic. Trevor back right then. I was that black. Not just any black, but the coolest black in the world, and that's American black. I can say this with confidence, being from Africa, I know black. I'm well versed in the arts of black. I'm from the black factory. I mean it. I've seen every kind of black, from light black all the way to like navy blue black. I know. <laughs> I know black. And there's no cooler black than American black. Nothing cooler, you know? Because the American navy black blue black is crazy. And there's no cooler black than American black. Nothing cooler, you know? Because American black people, I mean, you just look at how much they've done to influence modern day pop culture, you know? Uh, small things and the big alike, you look at the music. You've got, you know, jazz, hip hop, R&B, all black Americans, style of clothing, you know? Just this general swag that they've brought to everything. Even small things like walking. I mean, walking is such a mundane activity, isn't it? It's just a very, it's just very, there's nothing cool about this thing. You just, you just move from one place to the next and, and pretty much everybody can do it. This is, this is it. There's nothing. And then black Americans came along and then they just added in that bounce. And then, and all of a sudden you look really cool. You just, you know, you look like you have oh, a purpose. Right. You've just got that. Yeah, look at this, it's super cool. And it must be hard for an assassin to kill you. Just like. <laughs> That's why if you look in American history, no black man was ever assassinated whilst walking, ever. So it's when they stopped and said something. Bang! That's when they were, because they got the walk. That's why if you look, Obama, every time he comes out of the jet or makes a speech, he's always just got that little bounce just before. Because in his head, he's like, you never know, you never know. You never know. You never know. Uh -huh. You never know. Uh -huh. Got the walk. Oh, no, that's cool like walk. You. And by far, the coolest thing of all, coolest thing of all is the talk. I've listened to black Americans and it's the most amazing use of the English language I've ever come across in my life. Sometimes we also say the dumbest stuff. I ain't gonna hold you. I ain't gonna hold you. That's, that's another one. You know what I'm saying? Like, it is a lot of slang that we came up with, bro. Most amazing use of the English language I've ever come across in my life. Because they pay no regard to punctuation whatsoever. <laughs> it's cruised through sentences. It's fantastic. First time I had a conversation with a black American man was in Baltimore, Maryland. This guy walked up to me after the show. He didn't even walk, he just floated in. He just came up to me and was like, hey yo, B, hey yo, hey yo. Hey yo, let me holler at you for a minute, man. Let me holler at you. I said, okay. He's like, man, I ain't even going front, man. I ain't going front. I came out here, dude. I didn't even know who you was, man. I didn't even know. As I hear the show, I bought my girl. We was out there. You came out there. You were doing your thing. I was like, yo, man, I ain't even know they got them yellow bones out there in the motherland, man. I was like, yo, this kid better be funny, man. But I ain't going to lie. You came out there. You was keeping it coming, keeping it moving. You was just beasting. I was like, all right, man, maybe this kid is the truth, yeah? This kid was doing his thing. He was keeping oh, it out there. Bro. I started half of my girl were killing herself. I was like, all right, this mofo got flown for sure, you know what I mean? <laughs> hey, I was Trevor. Like, no, I don't. <laughs> but I love it. It's the most amazing use of English I've ever come across in my life. Just that one word alone. Just the strength of that. Nah, mean. 
Do you know what I mean? You know what I mean? It just, it sums it all up, doesn't it? It's just, you know, neither question nor statement. It's just, like why have we been wasting our time with syllables for so long? I don't understand. It was a crazy day today, you know what I mean? Yo, that shit was crazy, you know what I mean? It just, it's it just flows, it's yeah. magical. It says it all. I feel like I've wasted years of my life without yeah. nah mean. <laughs> I wish I could go back in time and relive my favorite moments. Watch my favorite movies again. See them bring to life. This is Sparta! Nah mean! <laughs> Power. Hey there, thanks for watching. Now, all I need you to do is click on that. Hey, Trevor Funny. Yeah, yeah. That, that's that's a oh, very yeah, young yeah, Trevor, yeah. bro. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I think I'm back. Something went wrong. Uh, but yeah, thank y'all so much for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, follow me on my social media platforms. Everything is in the description to the next video. Peace.